You guys, it's cherries. What'll we do with them? What would Julia Child do? <laughs> Welcome to Tiny Kitchen Theater, where I make big things happen in this tiny kitchen. Today, it's clafoutis. And what is that, you might ask? Well, it's French for delicious. That's not true. Um, it's a dessert that will involve these beautiful cherries. I mean, tis the season. And we're going to bake them into a delicious dessert that's not really a flan. It's not really a custard. It's not a Dutch baby, but it is delicious. Let's get started. First, we're going to need a cup and a quarter of milk. I'm using this stick blender because that's all I have room for in the tiny kitchen. But if you have a full size blender, now's the time. Then we're going to need two thirds of a cup of sugar. Three eggs. Ah, eggs overboard. Uh, a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And a half a cup of flour. Blend it up. exactly the thin batter that we're looking for. So now all that's left to do after, of course, having preheated your oven to 350, sorry, I forgot to mention that. All that you've got left to do is take a buttered baking dish. This dish should be at least an inch and a half deep. And then you're just going to take your cherries and create a single even layer of cherries that are all roughly the same size. Um, the purists will tell you, do not pit these cherries. If you value your mol molars, I think maybe you will pit these cherries. The purists will say that the cherry pits lend it a vaguely almond flavor, but I think almond extract would also lend an almond flavor if you're missing it that much. I respect my teeth too much to leave the pits in. So now that we have an even layer, we're just going to go ahead and pour this batter right over top. Look at that. Just right. So now we're going to very carefully get this into the oven. Very carefully, very, very carefully. Oh, yes, victory. This stays in the oven for 45 minutes to one hour. See you back then. It's time. Okay, oven off. Oven mitts on. Carefully, carefully. Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look. This gorgeous beauty. Yes. <laughs> so, very full, very puffy. It will sink as it cools. You will want to serve this slightly warm, maybe not this piping hot. Also very good at room temperature. I am excited for this and a cup of coffee. But first I have to let it cool. It's time for Clafu tea. Sorry, camera two. My bad. Oh, yeah. 
So it was a nice fluffy situation when it came out of the oven, but as it cooled, it sank down and became nice and dense and custardy. I'm so excited. your slices but you've got to admit that looks delicious oh cherry custard come on mm. I'm gonna go spend some alone time with this kalafu tea thanks for joining me I hope you enjoy it Slices. <laughs>